<laughs> All right, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Chuck. I'm back with another tutorial video for you guys, and this is for editors. And you know, if you have the same issues, go ahead and follow these instructions. It will like 100% work. Now, I've searched up for fixes and stuff well, on YouTube and Google did and stuff on the forums. Everyone uses uh, some type of program or software to um, fix it, but you don't actually need that. So, for example, here's the issue that I have. I fixed it, but you know, I've uh, uninstalled something so it does this error again. So, as you can see, if I go actually, let me close that, go here, go to videos, and every single video works. I have mp4 files as you can see here this is black ops 3 hold on let me actually i'm trying to find a short one okay so this is a mp4 file right if i drag and drop this it works like it fucking works it's it's good however let's say i want to use my elgato videos because that's why this fucking shit happens. So this is my Elgato recorded stuff. Drag and drop it in here. And even though it's still a MP4 file, it says on Vegas Pro 10, it says none of these file drops on Vegas Pro could be opened. So what you first need to do is open Elgato. There we go open your Elgato software and it doesn't need to be connected you just need to play with the settings a, a, a little bit come on there we go now this is the feed that I had recorded what you need to do is go to settings and by default everything will be checked uncheck everything except for file mp4 and some of the youtubers says like uh, uncheck the option to uh, always convert new videos to mp4 file they say like uncheck it however just check it just just fucking do it it doesn't really matter and then you're done with that you can actually check youtube and movie maker but just in case you know uncheck everything except for file mp4 because you you're just recording it and editing it so anyway that's all good close that now what you actually need is QuickTime because MP4 videos are like back in the day was only playable for uh, QuickTime. It was meant to be playable just for QuickTime. However, Elgato, all the other videos and you know programs and stuff have been fucking moved on and made available so that everyone, every single fucking like even media player can play it, like MP4 files. And if I right click here properties you can see it it opens with a windows media player so i can play back and stuff it's all good so what i'm going to show you right now is if we go to my programs and stuff and go to quick search for quicktime there is no such thing as quick i don't know what the fuck that is but okay oh bluetooth okay but yeah there's no quicktime so what you want to do so open your Google and right here oh, sorry for that but to do like quick time yeah quick time there we go I already searched it and then quick time Apple support by the official site and then you can like hit download you can download the latest one right over here it says you have Leopard whatever just if you have Windows go ahead and click on Windows I already downloaded it so if I go to, did I actually click it? Yeah, okay. And let me go to downloads. Holy shit. Hey, quick time. And run. Next, I agree. Custom. Next, install shortcut. No, thank you. Install that shit. And this is like, this won't even take a minute or two. This is like, instant like almost instant and it's done there we go so yeah like i said it's fucking quick so now if we go to my programs list and i load a little bit 
press Q, you will see here quick time 7. Now, with this shit open still, hopefully it will work though. It, it will work, but I thought I needed to close it first. Let me go to Elgato. Drag. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you do need to close it. No, thank you. Don't put it back up. Now it should work. There you go. And everything works as smooth as fuck. Always fucking save all that. But yeah, this is like the fix on how to do it. So there you go. Easy way to fix it. I watched so many fucking YouTubers say like, yeah, you need to download something to convert the video and stuff. However, that's just bullshit. Don't convert it. That will only decrease the quality of the video. You don't want that. It's like this. See it as this. This is the video, right? And what you're actually are doing is, if I can demonstrate it right here. Look how HD, oh, what the fuck. Look how HD this looks. If I actually have a fucking Okay, there we go. This is fucking HD, right? Now, there are some ghosting, but that's because it's 60 FPS. So it's all good. It looks crisp. Like, it's fucking sexy. Crispy clear. If I render it out as a... Oh, wait. Why is it on 30? Oh. <laughs> so this is the exact same render settings, right? It, it, it won't even fucking do shit like it won't decrease the quality however if I do does this work no let's do a thousand six four thousand six four thousand okay let's see maybe that will work mm -mm 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 -mm. Hurry up though. Now it, it, this will take like a couple seconds because it's 1080p 60fps but the bitrate is low so it should have the same effect as you uh, converting it. And alright, there we go. That's done. So now if I open this, you see what I mean. Okay, it, it's not actually the same as you would but the quality sucks. However, if I did like uh, render as, boom, save, yes, override it, I don't give a fuck. And this will take a bit longer, but will be fucking HD as fuck. Like 1920 by 1080p by 128. Don't know what that means, but okay, 60 FPS. So let's give it a. Yeah, you can hear my laptop going crazy because you know it's rendering the but so 10 more seconds uh, 15 seconds come on oh it, it does use a lot of your cpu or gpu whatever you have i have both for sale mm -mm 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 -mm. and you are good to go nice and let's open this Look how sexy this look looks it's still good that was short but still <laughs> but yeah that was a simple way to fix it guys all you need is just quick time that's the correct way to fix it you need quick time installed on your pc or laptop if you already have it make sure you have the latest version of it also try to uninstall quick time and then install backup or or your editing software or whatever so if there's any issues you, you're having or troubles you're facing go ahead and leave or ask questions and uh, anything you want to ask or say feel free to leave a comment down below even if it's unrelated to this topic so just feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll see you on the next one guys this was just a quick tip for editors so yeah hopefully i helped you out anyway i'm shakis for you and i'm out i hope i catch you on the next one peace <laughs> Yeah.